Hello, welcome to or welcome back to my channel. I'm Alicia. Happy Halloween! Today I am living out one of my childhood dreams and that is to carve a pumpkin. I've always wanted to carve a pumpkin ever since I was a little girl, but Halloween isn't that big in Australia. So it's never kind of been a tradition for me or my family or even my friends. But today I'm gonna carve a pumpkin because I've always wanted to do it. I have no idea what I'm doing though. No idea in the world. Never done this before, have no experience whatsoever. I asked on my Instagram story a few days ago for any tips or advice from anyone on how to carve a pumpkin. I've also watched a lot of tutorials on the internet about how to carve a pumpkin, but I'm still a bit unsure. This is a new experience for me. A lot of people did say to get some petroleum jelly to like seal in the edges because it makes it last longer as well as using like serrated edge knives instead of like just a really sharp one. Like it needs to be like a bread knife with like a saw. <sighs> I really don't know. Anyways, this apparently is going to get really messy really, really fast. So I'm gonna put some gloves on. There we go. A lot of people have said that I should carve it or open it from the bottom instead of the top because it makes it easier to put the light in and gives it a cleaner finish. So that's what I'm gonna do. Although, I don't know, I'm so confused. How to carve a pumpkin. All right, I'm watching a quick little tutorial again. Yeah, everything is saying to do it from the bottom. So that's what I'm gonna do. I don't have a keyhole saw, which is everyone's favorite tool to use, but I have a serrated knife. So um, we shall see. This isn't gonna work, is it? Oh, hang on, maybe it will. I'm scared. What if, I feel like I should put my hair up. Hold up. The hair is up, we're getting serious. Let me just, what if I just sketch out? I am so scared. No, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. Okay, there we go, we're getting somewhere. Wait, did I do it? Did I do it? Did I do it? That is not a circle, but did I do it? I think I did it. <gasps> I did it. Now I've got this bowl that I'm just gonna put that in. I kind of wanna like make the circle an actual circle though. You know what, I'm not gonna lie, that was a lot easier than I thought it was gonna be. I thought I was gonna like really, really struggle with that. But um, hey. Now it's telling me to scoop it out its insides. I've got a massive spoon. I saw somewhere that um you can use an electric mixer to do this, which I do have. And I don't know if that would make this easier. Let's just try with a spoon. This doesn't smell the best, I'm not gonna lie. Oh, that's the other thing people told me to do. When I'm done, apparently, if you put um cinnamon inside it and you light it up, it just smells really, really nice. I'm getting pumpkin seeds everywhere. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie, this does not smell the best. Come on, come on. Come on, Mr. Pumpkin. I, I'm not trying to kill you, I'm just trying to scoop out your insides. I think I'm gonna try the um, the electric blender hack. The only thing about this is my blender doesn't go all the way inside. <laughs> okay, I actually think that helped a lot. Not gonna lie. I, I'm really not enjoying the smell of this. You're gonna hear me say that at least a hundred times, but. How, people on the internet make this look easier than it actually is. Okay, we're getting somewhere. We are getting somewhere. Um, oh, I don't know if I was supposed to do that. Okay, the bigger the spoon, the easier it is. <laughs> also, this is not a tutorial. This is just an attempt. I know the Americans are looking at me silly right now. They're like, what is this girl doing? Guys, I don't know. Am I meant to wash this out? Is that like something I'm meant to do? Am I meant to wash it out? Oh, my hand is hurting. Now I've scraped out pretty much everything. I'm just confused on whether I'm meant to like wash it out or not. Do you wash pumpkin carving? Oh yeah, I am totally meant to wash this. Gonna do that. Okay, now it says to like thin out the side that you wanna carve as much as possible. And I think that's, that's this side for me. How do I know when it's thin enough? I don't get this. This is hard work. 
I think I need a drink. My hands are hurting. <sighs> All right, let's keep going. I never realized how hard this was. Again, I just want everyone to know I have no idea what I'm doing. I want to make that so very clear. Where's my side that I'm carving? It's this side. All right, now I'm going to just draw on a pattern with a dry erase marker. Um, let's look at it. Jack O lantern faces. Do I want a traditional one or do I want to be funky? Ooh, I really like the skeleton looking ones. I think I'm going to try because this is my first one. It's going to be basic. I know. I think I'm going to try for something like that. Where's my own marker? You know what? That looks good to me. <laughs> he looks a bit silly. But that, that looks good to me. All right, let's just, you know, I'm going to stop procrastinating. Oh wait, no, I have a better knife I can do this with. My little pointy one. Maybe this is not a better knife. Yeah, no, that's not a better knife. Okay. Ah! Look, we're improvising a bit here. A lot here. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna kind of do this and then refine it. Yeah, wait, that was way too big. <gasps> no, wait. Okay, no, it's fine, I can fix it. I can so fix this. It's fine, guys. It's fine. I messed up, but it's fine. He looks a bit dopey, but it's okay. Wait, can I use a spoon to like... See, what's annoying me about this is I wanted to use like pottery tools because I knew I had some, but I cannot find them anywhere. I have zero clue where I put them. I'm a painter, not a sculptor. That is all I've got to say. One massive eye. <laughs> We've got one eye down. <laughs> oh, you know what? If he has wonky eyes, it's actually fine because he's meant to be a bit scary and spooky and that just adds to it. We all have faults and flaws and that's what makes us beautiful, including this jack-o'-lantern. It's got nothing with the fact that I have no idea what I'm doing and more about like creative liberty. It's all about creativity, not perfection. Oh, he's so cute. Oh, he's adorable. Oh, he's so special. Oh, I love him. One eye's bigger than the other, but I so think that's okay. Um, yeah, so that got messy real fast. When people said it was getting messy, I didn't know what to expect. Um, now I know. But I finished carving my pumpkin. My camera died and I didn't notice. However, here is Mr. Pumpkin. I did break him here, but it's okay. We just don't look at it too closely. Um, here he is. We're like best friends. Um, he's been soaking. I feel like I should soak him a bit longer. All right, I'm gonna soak him for a while. Cause that's what the internet said to do. These all gotta go in the wash. There is pumpkin everywhere. I was gonna keep these and like try roast the pumpkin seeds, but um, I honestly, I don't think I'll ever get around to it. So it's all just kind of gonna go in the compost bin. Was that as easy as I suspected it to be? Absolutely not. Was it fun? Yes. Will I do it again? I actually don't know. <laughs> maybe, maybe I will. Next year, I'll see. So I've cleaned up my kitchen, which actually took quite a while. There was a lot of mess, but it's all clean again. And we've got Mr. Pumpkin. I don't have a name for him. Leave name suggestions down in the comments. I'm yet to cover the edges, the cut edges with Vaseline because he's still a little wet from being rinsed out. And I have not put cinnamon inside yet, like people have been suggesting. I'll do that once it is completely dry on the inside. I don't want to put it in while it's still a bit damp, but I want to show you what it will look like once it's all lit up from the inside. So this is what it will look like when it's got a candle in it. It will look so much better when it's nighttime and when it's dark outside and around. Um, but this is what I've got at the moment. I'm actually quite proud of how it turned out. Considering this was my first ever attempt at carving a pumpkin. I've never done it before, have no experience. Besides from the little crack 
here, there was no real issues. It was harder than I thought it would be. That's kind of my only comment. But yeah, I had a lot of fun. This was a first time experience for me. I really hope you enjoyed watching. As always, if you have any video suggestions or things you'd like to see from me, please let me know down in the comments. I love and appreciate you guys so, so much, and I'll see you all next time. Bye.